morning, good morning. How is everybody doing? Thank you for joining me. Today I thought we'd do a bit of a day in the life. I can feel a frog in my throat as I start. Just need to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, right, I thought we'd do a bit of a day in the life today. I've got a little bit of a project that I'm doing that I thought I'd show you. And just a sort of what I'm going to eat and what I'm going to do and stuff around the house. We're sort of in the midst of a busy few weeks. Next week is the last super busy week and then hopefully it will calm down a little bit because being here, there and everywhere, which has been lovely, don't get me wrong, but sometimes you just need a bit of a period of time with some empty-ish days, don't you, and weekends and stuff, just, just to relax and um, get back into the swing of daily life. I feel like I've been, um, as I say, running here, there and everywhere and been away quite a bit recently. So looking forward to being at home a bit more. We're going away again tomorrow up to my mum's. Um, so I've got quite a lot to pack into today. Anyway, should we start with an outfit of the day? Okay, today I have got on this green top, which is old it's a couple of years old i think from evans with a v-neck just sort of a longish tunic top and i've got these they're somewhere between trousers and jeggings they're navy oh i'm not showing you very well am i sorry this light is horrible to film in they're navy and um, i've rolled them up above my boots they're from the fashion company they were gifted I, I chose them myself but they were gifted and they are super comfortable but i'm not sure how flattering they are i feel like they're maybe a little bit tight and slightly shiny but they are very comfortable um I've also got these boots that are new. These are from Pavers and I am super pleased with these. I've been looking for a pair of nice, sort of fairly chunky tan boots. It's got something not even in shot. Tan boots for a while, so I'm very pleased with those. Right, let's get out of this light and back in here. Give the camera a moment to adjust and I've got some new jewellery on from Anna Luisa who are very kindly sponsoring at this part of today's video. Got this gorgeous necklace with the um, gold bar on which I love, very different and different from anything else I've got which is fabulous and then these earrings which again I thought were super unusual, I just really liked them. Um, I've been working with Anna Luisa all year this year, as you probably know if you are a regular viewer of my channel. They're a fabulous jewellery company. There are many things I love about them, um, not least of which is... Oh look, that matches my top! I didn't even know that was going to happen! That was brilliant, wasn't it? I could do it with. There were some cream ones as well, but these are the little pouches, the jewellery. The jewellery comes in, they're cotton and they've got little magnetic poppers on them. And there's not loads of packaging. They come in a cardboard box in the little thing. Um, these can be reused. I find all sorts of uses for the, uses for these around the house, which is brilliant. I also love Anna Louise's website. It's not overwhelming. They have a small curated collection of lovely pieces of jewellery. They regularly have some new bits in. Uh, both of the items that I've shown you today have been from the new in section. I always like a little browse through there. But you're not, at some websites you just feel overwhelmed by the amount of pages to look through. Anna Luisa is not like that. It's, a, as I say, a nice small curated collection of jewellery. So they've got some fabulous offers on coming up to Christmas. So if you're looking to treat yourself or a member of your family or indeed a friend, there are some fabulous offers and for, for the Black Friday sales and so on. Um, I'll pop a link it down in the description box with all the info you need so if you are interested do go and check that out so thank you again to Anna Louise. Somehow it's already half past nine I don't know where the morning's gone I got up quite early as well. I've wrapped all my eBay parcels so first job of the day I think is to go and drop those off and also pop into the library I've got to take a book back just finished that one absolutely loved it highly recommend um and i've got to pick up two books that have come in that i reserved so yeah i'm gonna go and do that first of all just emptied i say i don't know where the day's gone i've emptied and refilled the dishwasher i've tidied the kitchen i've put a wash on i've stripped a bed you know all the things all the things the last skip of the building work is leaving the driveway i cannot tell you how happy 
that makes me. Right, it is 10.53. I've been out, I've taken back my library books, I've got my two new library books that I was picking up and I saw another one on the shelf in the hallway while I was picking up these ones. Do you want to see what I've got? I quite like doing a book segment. Um, Adam Kay's Undoctored Book. This is a newish one, I believe. I loved his first one. This is going to hurt. And the TV adaptation on the BBC as well towards the beginning of this year. I think that was on, probably still available on iPlayer. So, so good. Um, funny, but also moving and um, thought provoking as well. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, it says it's about what happens when a doctor hangs up his scrubs but medicine refuses to let go of him, alternating between hospital admissions and personal ones. This book looks back at Adam Kay's extraordinary medical education and the scars he, have been left, he has been left with. So I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this one. Now I can't remember what made me get this because I think I must have seen it on Instagram. Um, it's called I Must Betray You by Ruta Sepetis. I hope I haven't butchered that too badly. And subscribe to that. Anyway, I'll read you the back. It says, Christian lives in a country repressed by a cruel dictator. At 17, he dreams of being free, of studying philosophy and poetry, but everything he does, says, or even thinks is controlled by the state. In this climate of constant suspicion, can he trust his girlfriend or even his family? When the secret police blackmail him, he is faced with an impossible choice. Will he betray those closest to him or will he resist and risk the lives of those he loves? Um... What price would you pay for freedom, it says. So that sounds quite exciting as well. And then I saw this. This is the type of book that I love, a sort of dip in and out of. Um, it says, good vibes, good life. The key to unlocking your greatness. How self-care, self... Good vibes, good life. How self-care is the key to unlocking your greatness. So expect me to unlock my greatness very shortly. This book is apparently going to change my life. I say it in jest, but I, I do quite enjoy it. Uh, but I tend to flick through rather than read these types of books in full because I find self-help books sometimes, I think a lot of them center on a really good idea, but then milk it a bit much. I think they could be summarized somewhat. Um, anyway, looking forward to giving that a go as well. There's just nothing nice than a pile of new books, is there? Anyway, my, I'm on to my project for today. Let me have a sip of my coffee. I told you a little while ago, I think in one of my Friday chats, that I was donating the body shop calendar that I was very kindly given by the body shop um, to my father's care home, the care home where my father lives. And I also said in that same video that because the body shop calendar was aimed at ladies and there are quite a lot of men who work in the care home as well, I was going to make my own advent calendar for the men to go with the ladies one. And um, I asked you for some, for some ideas of what I should put in it. And you came up with some brilliant ideas. So thank you so much for that. Um, and I am surrounded by the things. I have to wrap them today because I'm going to Bournemouth tomorrow and we'll see my dad on Saturday. Um, and I'll take the advent calendars in at the same time because that would be the last time I go before um, the beginning of December, which traditionally is when one starts to open an advent calendar, isn't it? Um, so I've got all these things surrounding me. So if you need ideas for an advent calendar for men, here is what I have bought to put in it. I started off because socks are always good, aren't they? Everybody needs socks with some Christmassy socks. So we've got those ones. I love those. These ones, which are Father Christmas. And these ones, which very bizarrely are turkey and Brussels sprouts. Very odd. <laughs> Then I moved on to gloves and I got two pairs of touchscreen gloves. I thought they're really useful, aren't they, the touchscreen gloves? I think they're quite useful these days, the ones that you can do your phone through as well, because we're all constantly tapping at our phones, aren't we? Um, what else did I get? Let's go on to the foodie bits. I got a little Toblerone. I got a chocolate orange, because what stocking shouldn't have a chocolate orange on it. Does chocolate orange not just say Christmas? It does, doesn't it? 
I got some of these purely because I like these and I thought therefore everybody should like them I don't know if they do but they are yummy um, we got a Lynx um, body wash um, oh some more foodie things there's some orange chocolate fudge I thought that sounded delicious and uh, I got five scratch cards they're um, charity ones I got a little mini toolkit I got uh, a box of cappuccinos the kenko ones which are really nice um a car air freshener in citrus breeze which smells quite nice um a little box of card tricks i thought that would be quite fun um some nivea post shave balm some face hands and body dove, dove men cream um ultra hydra cream um a mini game of jenga because i thought that was fun I got two of these um they're like metal tools they're called wallet heroes and they do all sorts of things they're bottle openers spanners a phone stand a peeler can't imagine needing a peeler particularly in your um, wallet but there you go box opener letter opener ruler and can opener i thought that was quite a cool thing i liked it um a multi-tool pen i've no idea what that is but it sounded quite manly and efficient and um some sports headphones so i'm really pleased i've got a lot of great ideas from you guys and now i need to wrap all these up i'm going to wrap them what we're going to do is my mum's got a fairly large shoe box which i think will fit them all in if we stack them neatly which she's going to cover in christmas wrapping paper and um, then we are going to stick this to the front of it I um it says with thanks to all the fabulous gents who work at that's the name of the care home um from the family of bill eames and then it's a, a family photo of us all on a holiday which i thought was a nice thing how many times this week have i been filming and my phone has rung excuse me where was i that was actually needing my help with something that says it's been delivered and hasn't been delivered but we think we've figured it out anyway i've just shown you this one haven't i so yeah we're going to stick that to the front of the box so they know who it's from and then i'm going to wrap up all the presents in brown paper and label them 1 to 24. next job on the agenda is editing a video that i filmed yesterday well this video is not turning out to be the exciting extravaganza that i was planning she lies, I wasn't planning an exciting extravaganza at all, but it's three o'clock and I don't think I've filmed anything since, oh, since I was doing the um, advent box. I've had a very bitty day. I've been cleaning, I've been tidying, I've been answering emails that need answering, um, doing a bit of laundry, just general bittiness. Anyway, a cherries order has just arrived, so that is marginally more interesting than watching me hoover the porch. So, um, shall we have a look at what I ordered? For anybody who doesn't know, cherries is an online discount store, and I use them quite often for things that I don't want to carry back from the supermarket, all the heavy stuff. When you're doing a big shop, you just weighed down. I've had a bad back on and off this year, and um, I find them really useful for ordering things like big bottles of squash and um, big bottles of laundry detergent and all of that kind of stuff but I've got a slightly different haul today so it should point out that they sent me a voucher to buy this stuff that you're going to see today um, just for the interests of clarity so quite a lot of nice things to eat in this one so let's have a little look Okay, we'll start down here. A Lynx body wash. That is for Will. His one is running out in his bathroom. These are for my dad, the Fox's Viennese Biscuits. He's very partial to sweet things, bless him. So I'm going to be taking those when I go and visit him over the weekend. Um, Beanie's Christmas Variety Pack. That is for me. The flavoured coffees. I really like them. Look at that. They've got a mince pie one. Yum. And Yule Log. Lots of ones I haven't tried in there, so looking forward to trying those. That's a Christmas present. Won't say any more than that. Um, finish dishwasher tablets. They always seem to have really good prices on, on cherries for the dishwasher tablets. A couple of bits for Christmas cupboard to put away. Um, another Beanie's cookie dough. I love this one as well. This is a nice one. 
um, the bath puffs. I like these. I find these really useful. You only need a tiny, I think these make your shower gel last longer because they make it really foam up a lot. You need a lot less if you squirt it onto there and use the puff rather than just using it without a puff, in my opinion. We've got a fairy liquid, nothing more to say about that. Um, these for the Christmas cupboard. Um, the bathroom wipes, are they bathroom wipes or kitchen wipes? I don't know because it's in Polish apparently, but I'd probably use the yellow ones for the bathroom, I think, generally. Um, Maltesers for film night. always love a box of Maltesers. Um, that's to go into a Christmas stocking, as is that. Um, another box of biscuits for my dad, some toothpaste, some washing up sponges. That's for part of the Christmas present, some hot chocolate. And I thought this looked really interesting. Let me just um, put it down. Christmas fragrance oil set. I thought that looked lovely. You've got gingerbread, cinnamon and orange and Christmas spruce berry. So I'll pop that in my oil burner. I think that will make the house smell lovely. Now, if you haven't ordered from Cherries before and you would like to give them a go, they've got lots of really nice seasonal home bits as well at the moment. Um, I've got a 25% off discount code, which is a very generous one. The only thing is you have to spend minimum spend of £20, but that is super easy with Cherries. There's always lots of household essentials that we are all needing. So I'll pop that down in the description box for you. Right, my battery light is flashing and I need to go and deal with some more emails boringly. So that's my next thing on the list this afternoon. Well, I've spent quite a large portion of the afternoon trying to unblock the hoover. Here comes Ronnie. Hello. What are you doing? Well then. All right. Oh, your weather forecasting. Is it raining outside? You're a bit damp around the edges. Anyway, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I spent quite a lot of the afternoon trying to unblock the hoover, which I was eventually successful at, and then the battery ran out because it was the cordless, so I had to put it back on charge. And I've done some nice stuff as well. I've made some restaurant bookings for various things over the Christmas period that we are doing, so that's something nice to look forward to. I've just put my hair back because it was irritating me. But Will has just made the suggestion that we go out to the pub this evening. And I think that's a pretty good one. I've just tried to ring Ashley to see if he's keen, but um, he was on the phone. So I'll wait till he gets home because it must be half past five now, 17.35. So we might pop out to the pub for a quick drink and something to eat. Just for a change of four walls. Good morning. I forgot to finish this video off last night. It is now Friday. Sorry, I'm just plugging in my iPad into the charger. It is now Friday. We are off to Bournemouth today, this morning, for a meeting with my parents' financial advisors and a nice meal out this evening at Rick Stein's restaurant. Looking forward to that. Um, but I have literally an hour to shower, get dressed, put my makeup on and pack. I've been working this morning and haven't um, quite managed to do any of those things yet. So that is what I'm doing now. It's about half past nine, I think. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this loungewear, which I, I'm not gonna lie, I quite often wear it around the house, just, um, you know, just, just as, a, as clothes during the day if I'm not going anywhere. This is, hang on, let me take you back into the bedroom because it's easier to see in there. Um, it's basically, it's from Simply B and basically leggings super soft jersey gray leggings and then this top which is i don't know how well you can see that it's the softest softest loungewear top i have ever had it's like velour fabric and i cannot tell you how lovely it is to wear it's so lovely and cozy all the time we haven't had heating over the last few weeks because it's been out of action until a couple of days ago um, all the time we haven't had that heating we've uh, I've been wearing this and it's so warm and snuggly I will link it in the description box below I was put off buying it to start with because it you you can't buy the top and bottom separately and for many of us who are a different size on top than we are from at the bottom it's um 
you know, not <laughs> to excuse the state of me, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to come back and finish off when I've actually made myself look half decent. But yeah, for many of us who um, are different sizes, it's not always easy buying loungewear because it very often comes in sets. But I thought, because this one was fairly tight leggings, I thought I'll probably be all right with it, even if it's a little bit baggy on the bottom, because I'm smaller, two sizes smaller on the bottom than the top. Even if it's a bit baggy on the bottom of the legs, I don't particularly mind that as it's loungewear. So, and it's elasticated waist, so I figured it would fit. And actually it fits absolutely fine. The leggings are not too baggy and the top fits perfectly. It's lovely long line and warm and cozy. So highly recommend this one. I've had it for a few weeks now and it's the loungewear outfit of choice at the moment. Every time I go to, I think I've got three or four different sets of loungewear. And every time I go to the drawer, it's always this one that I pick out. So that's quite a good, it, you know something's good when that's the case. <laughs> don't you? Anyway, I'm going to go and transform myself into something actually look atable <laughs> before I finish off this video. Well, that's a bit better, isn't it? A little bit more human <laughs> looking. I have got a clutter problem. A clutter problem here, specifically. On my dressing table, I've pulled it all out. It's usually sort of pushed into the back, but all this stuff just accumulates. And I don't know how to stop myself accumulating it here. Not my Apple Watch, that's just supposed to be over there, cluttering up somewhere else. But do you have cut up hot spots? I mean, the dining room table's another one, constantly got stuff on there. And it's me as much as, I mean, obviously this is me, but the dining room table is me as much as anyone else as well. And how do you stop yourself having clutter hot spots that just accumulate? Any tips gratefully received on this? Let me know. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, all the things I said I would link, we had Anna Louisa, we had the Cherries discount code and the loungewear suit. Um, loungewear suit? Is that just loungewear? Don't need suit on the end of that, Caroline. All linked in the description box below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. It's coming up to Vlogmas very soon. I'm excited for it. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.